John, John, it's me, Mark Harris, the man from Atlantis. I'm here with a warning for you surface dwellers. It's time to stop poisoning your oceans and rivers. It's time for you to stop killing porpoises during your tuna harvest. The porpoises are gathering for an attack. And finally, most importantly, it's time for Talk Soup Poll of the Week. Thank you, Man from man Atlantis. From Atlantis. This week's quote is actually a snort. It comes from The Sally Show. Here's a domineering husband revealing his true nature. <laughs> wow. Oh, yeah. Sure. I'm going to bring that up and get it out. Expectorate. It's good for you. Moving on. Let's all take a break from our busy schedules to meditate on the symmetry of Sybil Shepherd's breasts. Okay, fine. Now that we're properly prepared, let's check out this Conan O'Brien highlight. In it, Shepard discusses the size fluctuations her bosoms have undergone through the years. It's a journey through time that will leave you mesmerized. Well, you know how everybody feels when they're 14, 15? Well, first of all, there's a certain point in a woman's life sometime when they're not big enough, mm -hmm. and then there's one point in your life when they're too big. Mm -hmm. Most of the time, it's not big enough, like when you're about 13, and then you get to be 14, 15, and sometimes they feel like they're too big or vice versa. They're just, women I have just a hard time. I just can't relate. I don't know what to say to you. I can't go, yeah, it's a problem. I don't know. Uh, but... I'm sure you can relate because men have a whole other size issue. <laughs> Which is really just as bogus. I mean, you know, we come in all shapes and sizes. Everybody knows it's not how big things are. It's, I'm so it's glad the shape you said that. that matters. <laughs> the shape that matters. But, uh, but you know, earlier, earlier in your career, you were more reticent, uh, uh, you know, about... You oh, were more reticent a about... Scene. In my first movie, The Last Picture Show, I was, mm -hmm. oh, I was horrified. I was just, I couldn't believe I was going to do that. And I happened to be taking an anthropology course at NYU, and I was just discovering that there are cultures in the world where the underarms are like, you're not supposed to ever see the underarms, so it's okay to flaunt the breasts. You can just throw them out anywhere you want. So people are walking around with their breasts hanging out, but like with their thumbs in their underarms. <laughs> I hope no one sees these. Jeez. I wonder what a culture like that would consider pornographic. Oh, oh, oh yeah. yeah. Yep. That and those Irish Spring commercials. Wednesday on Late Night, Conan welcomes chain-smoking, hyper-opinionated Dennis Leary. The acid-tongued funny man will promote his new HBO special, Flock and Load! If the good Lord didn't want men to dress up like women, would he have invented duct tape? Possibly, but that doesn't mean preoperative transsexuals like Sabrina should feel ashamed of their lifestyles. No siree. Up next, we'll meet Sabrina's boyfriend, Kenny, who's wearing a stylish wig and beard combo, courtesy of Dicker and Dicker of Beverly Hills. In the Springer highlight, old Kenny responds to the revelation that his gal is actually a guy. I'm sorry, and I still love you. Oh. 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 If I do, though. <laughs> okay, and I'll ask the same question I did without. I mean, getting... I mean, it explains a lot. You what? know, that's what it I want to hear. Explains a lot. What? What happened in this last seven months? Is now, in hindsight, you look back and say, "Oh yeah." What does it explain? It explains why she only lets me see her. <laughs> that question why do you know i i, I, I gotta end the segment uh, too, they all do. <laughs> no they all trans she's a transy she's a transy and your girl's a transy <laughs> A transy, she's a transy, it's a transy, they're all transy. Wouldn't you like to be a transy too? Be a transy, go be a transy. Be a transy, go be a transy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a funny song. Wednesday on Jerry, guests will tell their family and friends, guess what? I'm bisexual. Find out how they'll react to their loved one's switch inning status Wednesday. These days, it's getting more and more fun to be a corpse. First, they make those comfy air-conditioned coffins. Then Deke Manros invents video tombstones. Wow, I can't wait to croak. The computerized grave markers display your biography and other amusing text. 
I hear some even feature reviews of your life from critics like Siskel and Ebert. Imagine spending eternity with an endorsement from Jeffrey Lyons. Henson was the feel-good hit of the year. I laughed, I cried, I spilled my popcorn. <laughs> Morbid. For more on those high-tech tombstones, let's turn the clock back to this morning. Video headstones. I feel How like I should this? lie down on the floor in front of this. Viewlogy. This is a viewlogy. You can put 250 pages of stories and text. It's this is not a real Montrose person. Is not a Tracy Montrose is not a real person. But if you lift this up, in there, oh. there's text going there. And if you wait just a little bit, this is the whole family tree. It's got oh, it tells all kinds of story. It tells you the story of the person. It's about $5,000. It does not include the headstone. Let's see. How if long we, does it last? Uh, it, well, it runs. There is a picture, oh, right? Isn't that a nice this picture? This is great. And uh, it runs on a battery that runs eight to ten years. No kidding. So, so every eight to ten years, right. you stop off. And for the person in your life who says they want to be cremated, look at this. You oh, well. Wow. Urn, right? Eulogy, Eulogy urn. monitor. Eulogy urn. This is a little Do they bit... talk? No, they don't talk. Maybe that'll be in the next one. <laughs> I don't know. But this is, um, this I think runs about $2,000, a little bit more. Tracy's brother, George Montrose, a banker in Rock Island, Illinois. There's a picture of Tracy. You know what I can't figure out? What? Why is it that, like, batteries and CD players last for, like, five minutes? And, and this can go for eight to ten years. <laughs> how, how, does, how does this work? I don't know. But I was so taken by those high-tech tombstones, I bought one myself. Oh, no. Come on! Even in death, I can't escape our old hack bits. Not the Gila monster for all eternity. It's not fair. Still ahead on the weekly wrap-up, I'll be ripping through your viewer mail. Feeling a bit aggressive today. Plus, we'll spy on some bad, bad girls at a body bachelorette party. But first, she used to be the apple of mommy's eye. Now she's a freak! This is my little girl. This is my daughter. Everybody wanted to have babies with their kids last year. This is... She's lost all of her babysitting jobs. East of the Andes, south of the equator. This is a wonderful place. And just this side of crazy. Everybody's almost naked. This Sunday at 8, ride the rapids and bask on the beach. It's the premiere of Wild on the Amazon. But first at 6, watch the City of Lights become the City of Delights. It's sex on the Champs-Elysees. Then at 7, party with the pretty people. It's sex on South Beach. It's a trio of tantalizing tours. This Sunday, beginning at 6 Eastern and Pacific, only on E. My son is dying, and the insurance company won't pay for his treatment. I want to expose these people. But well, one young lawyer, the practice of law, you better watch your back, has just become more dangerous. Jury tampering, money laundering. Are you scared? Yeah, than anything he ever learned in school. I advise you mind your manners. You're in the big water now. John Grisham's The Rainmaker. You in over your head, son. Absolutely. Directed by Francis Ford Coppola. Rated PG-13. Starts Friday, November 21st, everywhere. I'm no shrinking violet. My hair color won't fade into the background. I use Preference by L'Oreal. Stay true colorants that resist fading mean color won't fade out. Special conditioners mean hair won't dry out. My color? Glorious. And I'm worth it. Fade resistant Preference by L'Oreal. Why is America on America Online? It puts the whole internet right at my fingertips. You can send instant messages just like that. The news is breaking. I've got it now. I can stay a little closer to my family. You've got mail. America Online. Easy to use, friendly menus. Put in the disc, click, you're online. And we've been working night and day to more than double capacity and make it even easier. I got homework help, and my dad thinks I'm a genius. America Online. So easy to use, no wonder it's number one. If you ever end up in some Ben-Hur movie, in your Pontiac Sunfire GT, with its powerful twin cam engine, well, you'll be glad you have a quick handling sports suspension. And of course, 150 horses. The Pontiac Sunfire GT. Finally, a real set of wheels you can really afford. And hey, watch for Hard Rock Live, presented by Pontiac Sunfire, only on VH1. It is a place you call your own. A place all yours, a place called home. At the J.C. Penny White Sale, save on select bed and bath styles that make you feel right at home. J.C. Penny, I love your style. We're still stranded on the island, but we always watch E. 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 Rescue. E. e. Not A B C D, but E. John Henson here, reminding you to bring your sweet lover. Bring it on home to me. Marianne's in a bit of a tizzy. 
She's upset because her 15-year-old daughter, Margot, dresses like some kind of a freak. She says Margot used to dress like an ordinary teenager until she started dating her no-good boyfriend, Randy, who also dresses like a freak. Sadly, the bad clothes have spawned some bad behavior. Up next, Mom tells Sally about these problems the fashion fools face in their hometown. We live in a really small town in western New York, and they've now passed an ordinance because these kids have hung out in front of the drugstore and intimidated the old people to the point, and they're acting like this on the street, jumping into traffic, and, they're, and they have intimidated the old people where they wouldn't even go to the drugstore and get their prescriptions. So now they have passed an ordinance in our town so that these kids can't be on Main Street. That's fine, but, but this is my this is my little girl. This is my daughter. Everybody wanted to have babysit their kids last year. This is and she's lost all of her babysitting jobs. People won't even I have a nine year old son and he's getting ridiculed because of what they're doing. Fear not, Mom. Sally's makeover mavens are about to work their magic. Never would have recognized her on this show. Thank you. Absolutely. I, I love the hair. I love the hair. Oh, my gosh. Me too. And now, let's look at young Randy. Oh, that Randy is quite the dandy, if you know what I mean. And I think you do. <laughs> Thursday, find out what happened to some of Sally's most outrageous guests. Remember that woman with a controlling husband? Did she get the courage to leave his lazy butt? Find out Thursday. It's time to hit the streets of Amsterdam with Conan O'Brien. Europe's most freewheeling city is famous for legalized prostitution, head shops, and coffee bars that sell pot. But Conan is far too clean cut to be corrupted by such temptations, right? Here he is on a little shopping excursion. Hello. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'd like to purchase this nude photograph of Keanu Reeves. <laughs> Thank you. I think this is a chemistry set. I have a nephew who would love this. The, uh... Oh. Okay, maybe not for him. Put that down. I do have something smaller to run. Do you have a smaller... Do you have a smaller bong? Because... I, um, I once, I was looking for a bong, but something in sort of a size eight. Oh, this is a cute bong. Look at that. This is, a. Uh... so this one is for home, and this one is for on the go, sort of if you're traveling. And for the office. The, uh, this is the office right here. That's a nice color. Do you have this in a lighter blue? It would, something that would go with my eyes. This is a little dark. had lunch yet. After visiting the Magic Mushroom Shop, Conan broke into his musical tribute to that most cutting edge of rock groups, Styx. Wow, not bad, huh? Uh, excuse me, sir. I know Mr. Roboto. Mr. Roboto is a friend of mine, sir, and Conan is no Mr. Roboto. Honey, honey, wow. Sorry. Okay, man. Didn't know he's friendly here, sorry. Friday on Late Night, Conan mulls things over with actor Matthew Modine. The actor who survived starring in Cutthroat Island will plug his new flick, The Blackout. Yeah, and that's a mean promo. I like Matthew Modine. That terrifying alarm can mean only one of two things. Either terrorists have decided to wipe out the only channel on television devoted entirely to entertainment, or it's time to read a little viewer mail. Hey! <laughs> Rest easy, America. Only your cable company has the power to stop us. This week's letter comes to us from Trey Stone of Houston, Texas. He writes, Every time I watch your show, I get really sleepy. Last night I fell asleep and dreamed I was Steve Kometko, only I had an afro. What gives? I don't know, Trey. You know, it's funny, but I keep having the very same dream. Weird, isn't it? It's time to go south of the border. Hi, E. Welcome to South America. For savage parties. Everybody's dancing, drinking, and... Woo! 
crazy carnivals. Everybody's almost naked. And all the untamed beaches you can stomach. Mm, yeah, hot. <laughs> Get a taste of South American spice. Cooking is like making love. It's touching, looking, and, and feeding. Get wild on the Amazon. This Sunday at 8 Eastern and Pacific, only on E. 20 patients to go in one bad cold. New Alka-Seltzer Plus liquid gels relieve your worst cold symptoms fast. Get Alka-Seltzer Plus liquid gels and get back to what's important. New Alka-Seltzer Plus. They're getting back to basics. I've never worked so hard in my life for a meal. Where hard work can just about kill you. Oh. Tim Allen, Kirstie Allen. Ah. For richer or poorer, rated PG-13 starts Friday, December 12th. Every tree needs the proper nutrients to grow. The same thing applies to the growth of this tree. If you're concerned your child isn't getting enough nutrition, ask your doctor about Pediasure. It provides complete, balanced nutrition. And Pediasure tastes delicious. So getting your child to drink it is as easy as, well, watering a tree. Pediasure, complete, balanced nutrition for kids. From a riot in Rio to mayhem in Miami, it's a trio of tantalizing tours. This Sunday, beginning at 6 Eastern and Pacific, only on E. From feuding families. How does it feel when you've got showtime? Call right now and you'll feel like your best friend just brought over the world's best movies. Like your favorite uncle just gave you two seats at ringside. Like your favorite director made movies with stars you want to see. And family specials to watch with your kids. You can have it all if you call. So call and get connected to Showtime now. This is about the bar dish. Okay. We're good to go. Rolling cake. Hello, I'm Lynn Doyle, and this is Comcast Newsmakers. Doing an outstanding job in this partnership with me. The obvious question here is, you can... Comcast Newsmakers with Lynn Doyle. A new approach to the way you watch the people who make news happen. Twice every hour, at 25 minutes past the hour, and 30 minutes later, at 55 minutes after the hour. Comcast Newsmakers, only on CNN Headline News already and put a letter in the mail to us at Talk Soup. E, P.O. Box 4897. 2K. Oh, in reference to our guests. Well, that's funny. Los Angeles, California, Nina Double Oh, boy. That's my career going down the toilet. <laughs> Back when I dropped out of school, college education actually meant something. Now we've got professors like Mark Hostetler writing books about bug guts on your car windshield. You don't have to be a Rhodes Scholar to know that kind of research is a total waste of time. Which makes this Tonight Show highlight perfect for our weekly wrap-up show. Now this looks like one that I would see in the summer. What, what is this? Yeah, these are actually butter... <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> these are actually butterflies here. You can tell they're... Butterflies. Ye yeah, they're yellow and they have little lumps on them here. The yeah. cockroach will help me here. Yeah. And there's little eggs here. Oh. And you actually can tell the sex of... of just by the splat, sex of the insect. Really? How can you tell by the splat? Almost. <laughs> actually, almost all. Okay, I'm not going. <laughs> actually, all uh, almost all species of insects, the female bites. The female bites. That's yeah. the cockroach is getting away. Yeah. And if you look at this mosquito right here, there's a touch of red there. That's actually blood. That's blood. Oh, yeah. from somebody else. From somebody else on the windshield. And so only female mosquitoes bite. So you know this is a female mosquito. Professor Mark says he hasn't mowed his lawn in five years. He doesn't want to kill the bugs living there. <laughs> Me, I just hate yard work. And the insect situation around my house is getting out of control. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I see. Bug boys! Yeah, that's right. You know what I mean? I've got better things to do with my Saturday than mow the lawn. Friday on The Tonight Show, Jay Jabber's away with funny man Dana Carvey. He'll talk about his many guest appearances on Saturday Night Live this season and then do an impression of George Bush. Hey, party on, Garth. <laughs> Tanya thinks there's a double standard when it comes to bachelor parties. If it's okay for her guy Jay to get drunk and leer at strippers, why can't she? After all, Tanya can drink and drool as much as he can. Jay says it's not a question of capacity, but control. In the Springer highlight, he'll explain why men are better equipped to handle the bacchanalia of bachelor parties. I mean, guys have been doing this for years. Come on, we, we've been doing this for a long time, right guys? Well, I love the bachelor party. Yeah, the cute 
thing is, the thing is, is that women started this women's lib bull crap like years ago. And that's bull. That's bull. Right on, bro. Right on. Right. So this is the attitude in with which you're entering your marriage. Well, wait a second. So what happens at, the, at your bachelor party? At my bachelor party? Yeah. Well, I'm going to go down to Tropicana and have a couple of oil wrestling girls, a couple of strippers afterwards, something like that. Hey, I can keep control of myself. I don't know if she can. That's why I don't want to trust her with the bachelor You're party. saying you can keep control of oh, yourself. Yeah, I can keep control of myself. What do you have to say, Tony? You know, you have no right to make that decision for me. I have every right to have one wild last chance before we get married. <laughs> When I put this ring on her hand, that meant that that body belonged to me, okay? Before the show, Tanya actually indulged in a bachelorette party, courtesy of the Springer Show. Here's a look at that shocking footage. <laughs> Needless to say, Jay was not happy. Hey, buck up, man. Maybe she learned something for the honeymoon. Like burn treatment or some ointment. Or... Sam. Yeah, Sam would probably be the better choice. Apparently, some people here have experience in that. Friday, Jerry hears from a woman who refuses to wear clothes. His cameras will follow this exhibitionist as she attempts to shop in the raw. Right. Coming up after the break, it's our Talk Soup Clip of the Week. In just a moment, Monica has something she'd like to get off her chest. But how will her conservative cousins react? Mm -hmm. I think I told you that I was in a state of razor. I'm not in a state of razor. Um, I don't know how you're going to take this, but I'm a dominatrix. Do you know what that is? <laughs> East of the Andes, south of the equator. This is a wonderful place. And just this side of crazy. Everybody's almost naked. This Sunday at 8, ride the rapids and bask on the beach. It's the premiere of Wild on the Amazon. But first at 6, watch the City of Lights become the City of Delights. It's sex on the Champs-Elysees. Then at 7, party with the pretty people. It's sex on South Beach. It's a trio of tantalizing tours. This Sunday, beginning at 6 Eastern and Pacific, only on E. I'm a big kid, look what I can do I can ride on a train like a big kid too Big news for your big kid Pull-ups training pants now have Mickey Mouse on them Just like big kid underwear, kids will want to wear them Mommy, wow Crew's acting a little tense. Thought I'd loosen them up a bit. Hey, guys, is your work guarantee? Lifetime guarantee? What do you think this is, Dale? That new GM Goodrich Service Plus? Smart guy. Select GM dealers now give you a lifetime guarantee on parts and labor, plus upfront pricing, plus courtesy transportation. New GM Goodrich Service Plus, like they say. The plus means better! Call for the select GM dealer near you. Today's show, listening to our bodies. My body's telling me. Uh, can you just listen to me? Your hair is staying nice and easy from Clairol with Healthy Shine Conditioner. Hi. It works with your hair's own tones and highlights. 110 and 117. Let's go, let's go. Look, the Healthy Shine Conditioner lets the natural looking color shine through. I don't know what her body's saying, but your hair is saying. Oh, yeah. It's nice and easy to be natural from Clairol. It's a very magic holiday special. Magic, I can't tell you how thrilled I am to be here. This year, it's fleece for me. It's the Smothers Brothers. Hi, everybody. Hey, Tom and Dick. She's wearing fleece. I'm wearing fleece. What do you think? Fabulous, this fleece. It feels like a gift. Just a thought. Loose, layered, fun. Am I loose, layered, and fun? <laughs> Happy holidays, everyone. Performance fleece. What a value. Why is America on America Online? It puts the whole internet right at my fingertips. You can send instant messages just like that. The news is breaking. I've got it now. I can stay a little closer to my family. You've got mail. America Online. Easy to use. Friendly menus. Put in the disc, click, you're online. And we've been working night and day to more than double capacity and make it even easier. I got homework help, and my dad thinks I'm a genius. 
America Online, so easy to use, no wonder it's number one. Hey, what's up? I'm Vivica Fox. Hi, this is Lionel Richie, and you're watching E! Entertainment Television. <laughs> Monica's got a little secret. She's just dying to spring on her cousins, Dean and Dale. She's a little worried, though. After all, they do hail from the Bible Belt. Then again, belts are right up her alley. Get the hint? You better, or Monica's gonna take you over her knee and make you beg for another serving of our talk soup clip of the week. I think I told you that I was in a state appraiser. I'm not in a state appraiser. Um, I don't know how you're gonna take this, but I'm a dominatrix. You know what that is? <laughs> Well, do you know what a dominatrix is? No. Okay. <laughs> Let me clarify one thing. I'm not a prostitute. I don't have sex with clients. I don't allow clients to have sex with me. I spank people for a living. <laughs> wow. And I whip people for a living. You don't know what me I have no idea. I promise. <laughs> That's what I do for a living. I, I spank people, I tie them up. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, you, you let me you. get into this. I, I've, loved, I've loved you ever since. You, I seen. swear to you, I have nothing to do with this. <laughs> You know what my daddy told me? He's gonna take me out behind the barn. I'm gonna take you out in the hall. We're gonna talk to you. Nothing to do Before anyone agrees to go behind the woodshed with anybody, let's do a little comparison shopping. Dean, one woodshed session, $50. Monica, three woodshed sessions, $35 per with frequent plug or coupon. Well, yeah, clearly Monica's offering a better rate. You know, the smart shopper always takes the three per. Well, that's it for this edition of Talk Soup. Just a reminder to tune into our daily show every weeknight at 10 p.m. Eastern and Pacific. We'll have a fresh half hour of highlights for you. I want to thank our special guests, the guys from Mystery Science Theater 3000 on the Sci-Fi Channel. Goodbye! So long! Arriba Dashi! Don't forget to ride! Don't miss their season finale on December 6th. It's an episode titled Overdrawn at the Memory Bank. But now, it's time to lay another Talk Soup week into rest. Ashes to ashes, made a deck to de Gausser. We bid a fond farewell to weekend show number 888975. Yay, and amen. <laughs>